Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Hope you enjoyed that little video at the start of this video because that's gonna be the subject of today's lesson. What I've done is put together an arpeggio sequence which uses a specific hybrid picking pattern and we're gonna get straight to it shortly. Uh, firstly though, please check out my website for all downloads. Um, it's a great way of supporting what I do so that I can continue making free videos like this one. So anyway, advert over. Let's get straight down to it. Um, I posted this on Instagram a few days ago. I was just messing around with this. I mean, this kind of pattern that I use in the, in the video that, uh, upon which the technique is based, I've been using for many, many years. Um, but I just thought I'd bung this together just to just to show you uh, how I use it to get a specific effect. And it's very much um, sounds like the dotted eighth trick that guys like Albert Lee and Nuno Betancourt use with a delay pedal. Um, and uh, I posted it on Instagram and a great guitar player, Noel Johnson, said um, that it reminded him of that technique with the delay, but without the delay. So, uh, I thought I'd do a video explaining um, how to do it. And it's not something that I did consciously, it just sort of happened. And after he mentioned it, I thought, yeah, he's got a point, you know, it does, it does sound like that, that effect. So um, thanks for Noel for pointing that out. Make sure we check him out. Um, he's a brilliant musician and brilliant player as well, Noel Johnson. Um, anyway, I'm digressing. Um, so let's get to it. What we do is we go through various different seventh chords and um, using this technique. So we ascend through one arpeggio, move into the next sequence, then descend through um, the next position. Okay, so we're gonna start, it's actually in the key of C. Okey so I've got it on the neck pickup, um, but you can use whichever pickup you desire. So um, this is the first shape, so I'll just play it nice and slowly. That's the first pattern. Okay, so what on earth am I doing here? Uh, firstly, familiarize yourself with the arpeggio shape that this comes from. It's actually C major seven uh, uh, arpeggio, but we start on the A, uh, so it kind of gives it like a minor, minor seven thing, but I'm thinking in terms of C major seven, okay. So what do we have? Down, on, middle, down. And this is where we get the, um, when we ascend through it, this is where we get that sort of delay sound. Like that. Whoops. Okay, so that's what that is. Down, on, middle, down, middle, down, middle, down. Okay. Then we're gonna go middle, on, middle, down, middle, down, middle, pull off. Okay, I'll explain about the specific way that I, articu artic I articulate, <laughs> not articulating myself very well here, articulate these arpeggios and how I sort of paste the two positions together. Um, so once we've done this again, pull off here, and then we're gonna move into this position here and play this arpeggio, which is like a C major nine arpeggio. Use it all the time. So we go, uh, 
I'm going to slide into position here. Just rather than picking every single note, I like to incorporate little slides to connect these arpeggios together. Just sounds a little bit more interesting to the ear. So, slide. So what am I doing here? So once I've slid, hammer on at the top here, then it's down, middle, all the way. Down, middle, down, on, down, middle, down, middle, down, on, down, middle. So there's various different combinations of down and hammering on um, when it comes to you know notes which are on the same string. So it's a mixture of doing down and then middle uh, with the right hand. So down, middle, and uh, and a down and an on. Uh, hammer on. So, so it's in the gain down a bit. And then we shift positions. You can slide that um, because that's how I'm connecting them both. When you ascend through the position and into the next position, uh, I use a slide. When I descend and then go back, I use a slide. So, um, okay, so that's our first shape, C major 7. Okay, that's it. Uh, so that's, that's basically um, how I'm articulating these arpeggios, and we apply it to, to uh, all of the following chords, all of the following seventh chords, okay? So C major seven, the next shape we're gonna do is this diminished seventh. Following the same kind of thing. Um, and this is like A flat diminished, uh, G sharp diminished, whichever, you know, however you wanna call it. Um, so we, we shift down from our first shape. With a slide. And then it's diminished seventh. Okay, so again the same picking pattern. And slide up. So this is great. Once you've got the picking pattern with the right hand, you can apply it. To, it makes it a lot easier because you, you, all you do is just apply the same thing to the, the following arpeggios. Okay, so um, we have the A flat. We're gonna move down here to A, and we're gonna play an A major nine arpeggio. Okay, again, following the same right hand picking pattern, let me turn the game down a bit. Let me explain what that is. We've already done this shape with the previous C major. Slide up and we're going to go on, down, middle, down, middle, down, on, down, on, down, middle, down, middle, down, on, and then into position. And then repeat, okay? Good. Once we get to the end of the, the, the second repeat, we're going to play this here, which is a B flat uh, minor seven flat five arpeggio, uh, which is which is based upon that shape. Okay, so again, same right hand picking pattern. Um, slide up. This is a bit. This is a bit awkward here. So. Take it slow. Various different fingerings, left hand fingerings you can use for this. I'm using hammering and rolling here. But I know a lot of you guys will find that quite awkward. So what you can do if you don't want to do that, oops, bollocks. If you don't want to do that. Okay, what you can do is use separate fingers. So it negates having to use the, the, the pinky here at the bottom. 
So three, two, one, three, then two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one. You might find that easier than. And then back down, slide. Okay. So where do we go from there? Um, I've totally forgotten. Uh, Yeah, that, uh, we slide down a minor third. Um, we're gonna play B flat diminished here. So same sh shape as we played before. Slide down to connect the shapes. Slide up to connect positions. Okay, here we're gonna move down a semitone and play the same thing up a whole tone. So a min minor seven flat five, so here, here we play a C minor seven flat five, same as we played with before. Okay, and then we're gonna play a diminished seventh, so C diminished seventh. Twice. Then we're going to move down to D flat major nine arpeggio. Okay, so D flat major nine here. So we've already played the shape. However, this time, uh, because it's the end of the arpeggio sequence, we're not going to shift up. We're going to move down positions to finish the pattern. So. Okay, that is the whole arpeggio sequence, so why don't I play it nice and steady for you. So starting with the C arpeggio. Bollocks. <laughs> Diminished seventh. <laughs> What's that called? Yeah, so that's in its entirety. Man, it's funny when I'm uh, performing these kind of things and playing these kind of things, even at, sl at slow speed, usually what happens is this, when I'm halfway through, this little voice comes in my head and goes, psst, Rick, Rick, you're gonna mess it up. You do know that, don't you? You're gonna mess it up, but try and focus, try and concentrate. Even though you've got something difficult coming up, you know, it's so difficult to not have your mind just constantly at you, at you all the time. So you've got to try and ignore it and remove it and get into the music and let the music flow. Ignore that little voice trying to get you to fuck it up. 
I'm sure some of you guys will concur with me here. Anyway, I am digressing as per usual. Uh, I think I better wrap this lesson up. Um, so hopefully this has given you um, a way to play, um, to use the hybrid picking technique to create the sound of a delay without the need for a delay. And like I said, it wasn't a conscious effort on my part. Um, uh, but, you know, after looking at it and, well, listening to it, it does sound like that. It may not be exactly the same as the dotted eight thing, uh, but, you know, uh, being a lazy git, you know, I can't be asked to work it out exactly. It sounds good enough to me the way that it is. So I'm just going to continue using this technique and write more arpeggio studies. Anyway, I will shut up and I will leave you to practice it. Uh, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Uh, look out for another video coming very soon. I'm back on the case. So uh, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.